Coaches, welcome back to the Brantley Method on YouTube. I'm excited to talk to you about today's topic because I think that it's one that you know we face a lot as coaches, um, and that's you know our student athletes playing multiple sports. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions going on about the importance of a student athlete being a multi-sport athlete. Um, I I personally don't think that it's either way, right? Like you don't have to be a multi-sport athlete to get recruited. College coaches are not going to look at you being a single-sport athlete and and take that again you um, and vice versa you know what what happens a lot of times is you have student athletes and you have coaches that you know pressure student athletes to play multiple sports because in our minds hey he would make a great tight end for me right or hey you know what I would love to you know, have him play basketball um, and when the passion's not there you see issues where you know I see injuries happen when somebody's not mentally fully invested into it right they're just out there just going through the motions they're going 60% speed and somebody else is going 100 10% speed because it's their passion, it's what they do, it's bound to cause an injury. So I think it's really important to, number one, um, encourage your student athletes to play multiple sports if they're interested. If you have a student athlete that comes to you and says, hey coach, I absolutely love you know, these other sports. Now this is my primary sport. I want to play at the next level. I want to be a high level player for you, but I also have you know, a passion to play these other sports. Is it okay if I do that? I know it's tough. I know you want your team to win, you want your student athlete to develop, and you want to get that off-season work with them, but understand that if that student athlete goes on to compete at the college level, chances are they will never get a chance to play those other sports that they love in an organized manner. Because at the college level, it's just not going to happen. So this is their last real opportunity to play those sports. Don't take that away and don't you know be negative and you know tell them that it's going to impact their playing time with you if they play other sports. Uh, be, be somebody that's says, hey, you know what? Let's figure it out. Let's figure out a way for you to get the, the extra you know, development time with me, or let's figure out a way for you to learn the plays and things like that that you know, the other student athletes are gonna be doing during this off-season training. Uh, it's important to, to give them that support uh, with their, their desires and their wants and their goals. Um, at the same token, you know, as much as sometimes we'd love to see somebody play for us, if they're not interested or if they don't wanna be there, you're just giving yourself more of a headache by trying to drag and drag and drag and, and pull them to come play for you or pull them to come play your sport. Um, you could look out on that football field and, and see a basketball or see a potential basketball player uh, that you think will be great for you. Uh, but if that kid doesn't want to play basketball, you know, give them the option. Let them know, hey, I'd love to have you, uh, but it's your decision. You know, put that decision in the hands of that student athlete and that parent and support them all the way along the way. Uh, let's not do Let's not discourage our student athletes from playing multiple sports, um, and then let's not shame them for having a passion and only wanting to play one sport. Let's give them the, the opportunity to make that decision and support them throughout that. All right, coaches, once again, anything I can do to help you, I'm here. Um, there may be times that you agree with me, throw it in the comments. You may disagree with me. Let's throw it in the comments. Let's talk about it. This is a place for dialogue. This is a place for you know, us to help as many people as we possibly can. Um, and some of the questions or comments that you have may be a question or a comment that somebody else has. Some of the agreements or disagreements you have you know, may help somebody else for you to vo voice that and vocalize it. So I'm here. Let's talk about it. Um, let's continue to expand the community um, and help each other along the way. All right, guys. Thank you.